What's up everybody, this is BDCool213 here and I have another video of a Wii U game uh, of me showing the uh, what the gamepad looks like in a certain game. So for this video I'm going to be doing Assassin's Creed 3. So um, let's go ahead and take a look here. So I'm going to start a new game here. Used to be when people talked about the end of the world we locked them up or laughed them off. So for this game, there isn't really much to say about the um, about how the Wii U gamepad affects the game. So, uh, so yeah, I'll probably just be showing you the first few minutes of the game and um, what you can do with the gamepad in this game. So let me see. Let me see if I can skip this. No, I can't. Okay. But yeah, I gotta say, you know, playing through the first few minutes of Assassin's Creed 3, I haven't played it on uh, on 360 or PS3 yet. So, um, you know, I decided to wait for the Wii U version to come out once the Wii U came out. Uh, but I gotta say, it's pretty good. It looks uh, looks really good on the Wii U. And, uh, you know, of course, um, having the ability to play with the uh, Wii U gamepad, um, you know, like, of course, if you want to not play it on your TV, if you want to play it in bed, um, on the Wii U gamepad or in the bathroom or somewhere else in, in your house you can do that as well but uh, but yeah I'll show you guys what that's like in a few seconds or minutes compared to however long it takes for this cutscene to end because yeah, I can't skip it but uh, but yeah this is the first Assassin's Creed game that I've ever owned uh, I played Assassin's Creed um, what was it called Brotherhood I think it was called and I never played any of the other ones before that um, well, basically because I heard that Assassin's Creed, the first one, was not that great. I'm not sure if it's true, but I never gave it a chance. Um, but, um, but yeah, a friend of mine let me borrow Brotherhood, and I thought it was pretty good. And, uh, and then, yeah, you know, I decided to get uh, Assassin's Creed 3 for the Wii U, seeing how it's a big, you know, franchise now. Um, I wanted to give it a shot. You know, hopefully we get the, like, a... Uh, a like an, a collection of all the other Assassin's Creed games. I heard that they're doing that for, um, I think either 360 or PS3. I'm not sure. I think only once one of the systems is getting that collection, but not in in the U.S. Though I heard it's uh, in Europe, I believe. And um, but yeah, we, it'll be pretty cool to get a collection of the other games, seeing as you know um, the Wii U is getting Part Three. And we're not getting the other ones, but hopefully, you know, hopefully in the future we'll get the uh, other Assassin's Creed games as well. So yeah, oh yeah, and speaking of Europe, uh, you know, the Wii U finally, it's finally coming out for you guys. Whoever, you know, you guys, anybody from Europe that's watching this video, uh, you guys have um, just a few more hours to go, I think. Yeah, because it comes out on Friday uh, over in Europe, so, you know. Glad to see you guys finally get it, and uh, hopefully we get to see a lot more people online now, uh, like in games and Call of Duty, uh, and even in Assassin's Creed as well, Assassin's Creed 3, um, since this game actually does support online multiplayer on the Wii U as well, so that's pretty cool. You know, I actually thought that they weren't going to include online in this one. I was surprised when I got the game and I saw that it did mention online multiplayer in the back of the box, so... So yeah, uh, you know, looking forward to playing with you guys uh, in Europe, and finally seeing a lot more people on the Wii U online. So, so yeah, let's see here. This is like a loading screen. I can't skip this. Okay. But uh, but yeah. Uh, if you guys take a look, obviously I'm recording this with the Wii U gamepad as well on the bottom right hand corner of this video. So, um, you know, it looks really good on the gamepad. It looks really nice, you know. And it's pretty cool, like, uh, the Wii U must be really powerful to be able to stream um, the game on both the TV and on the gamepad as well. So. And yeah, like I said, it looks great. It actually looks really good on the gamepad. So, um, yeah, like I said, I'll be going to, through the first few minutes of the game. Uh, but yeah, let me know if you guys want me to do a playthrough of this game. I'll, um, you know, I'll go ahead and do that whenever I get the chance. Uh, right now, I'm trying to uh, finish up my Paper Mario Sticker Star playthrough, 
And after that, I'm going to get started on my uh, Zombie U playthrough for the Wii U. So you guys can look forward to that. Uh, so yeah, I'm not sure what this is on the gamepad. I, I, it says UAV-001. I'm not sure what that's about. Um, you know, like I said, I haven't really played any of the other Assassin's Creed games to know what that means. But yeah, it looks like in um, during cutscenes, the uh, it actually displays it on the <clears throat> on the Wii U gamepad as well as on the TV, like you guys can see right here. In another moment, down went Alice after it. Never once considering how in the world... Oh, and then, yeah, also, uh, when you're playing on the TV, like I said, you, you see the cutscene on the TV and the gamepad. Um, during a cutscene, you don't hear anything on the gamepad. Uh, the, the audio is only coming from the TV, but um, uh, you know, once you switch, switch over to the Wii U gamepad only, then you'll be able to hear the audio, obviously, coming from the gamepad. So let's move on here. So it doesn't seem like anything happens. Um, so far from what I've played, I'm still early into the game. It doesn't seem like you could do much on the gamepad uh, as far as like uh, you know pressing certain like like if this was a button, you doesn't do anything. Um, you know, like in Batman Arkham City, for example, the video that I made, uh, you have certain buttons and you can select on the gamepad that show you different things. But on this one, I don't think there isn't anything you can do. Only maybe like to zoom in on the map, pretty much, as far as I've gotten, you know. Um, I'm still pretty early in the game, so I don't know if you can do other things on the gamepad later on. But, uh, but yeah, as soon as I get to that point where the map shows up on the screen, I'll show you guys what I'm talking about here. Yeah, there's also a um, a Uplay app that's supposed to be coming out for the Wii U. Um, uh, basically, Uplay is uh, Ubisoft's, uh, I guess I could say, like an achievement system. And uh, when you uh, when you first boot up this game, it asks you to create a account for Ubisoft Uplay. And what that does is that you do certain things in the game, I believe. Um, and also, I think I also think this is available on Zombie U as well. Um, Whenever you do something in the game, you get you get points, and then you can use those points to uh, purchase stuff on. Uh, Here we go again. I, I don't know. I'm not sh too sure about this, but I don't know if it's the UPlay store or something. I went into the, the multiplayer mode, and I noticed that um, you can use the uh, UPlay points to us? unlock avatars and stuff. Yeah. Um, I haven't had a chance to try out the multiplayer yet. I actually collapse, accidentally into went into it and. Um, so and I didn't finish setting the up the multiplayer, so sure for some reason game. when I booted up the game right now, it actually took me directly to the multiplayer to set it up, even though I didn't choose multiplayer. But, um, but yeah, the first thing that you saw in the multiplayer was to set up a, 
personal profile, and right. of course. I noticed there's like, there was like a bunch of pictures or avatars that you could choose from. No, and then there was others that were um, and I know what locked. I'm looking for, so by the way. I don't know if that's what the uh, you play points no can be used for. Um, like I said, you know, I haven't really had much time to play with this yet. But uh, but yeah, you play. Uh, there's an app that's supposed to be coming out. Uh, it actually mentions it mentions the you play app for the Wii U on Ubisoft's website. Uh, I forget the link. Um, but I actually saw this on GoNintendo.com. They actually posted a, uh, um, something about that and how to download it on the Wii U. But if you search for it on the eShop, uh, there's nothing that comes up for Uplay yet. So I'm guessing maybe it might come out either tomorrow for uh, the eShop update. Since I believe Nintendo's going to do the eShop update for the okay, Wii U on Thursdays, just like how they did it for the 3DS and the Wii U, or I'm sorry, the Wii. So I'm guessing, yeah, uh, today, well, actually, well, I'm recording this on Wednesday, so the video will be going up on Thursday, um, in case you guys were wondering why I said Thursday. I'm recording this on a Wednesday, so. But, uh, but yeah, um, I'm guessing Nintendo will do their normal eShop update. Uh, for the Wii U every Thursday, you know, like as well as for the 3DS and the uh, original Wii. So yeah, I'm not too familiar with the Assassin's Creed story. I guess you like um, are trying to stop a force, the the Templars, I guess. Um, what the hell? I never noticed these guys before. So uh, you're. That's basically going through, uh, I don't know, simulations of uh, this person's right, ancestor. Oh, wow. oh, okay, never mind. I did notice these guys. I had to assassinate them last time I did this. Um, but yeah, like, I guess this person uh, named Desmond, uh, I don't know, I don't want to say sort of goes back in time. He's, uh, how can I say this? I'm sorry, I don't even, I'm not too sure, I really haven't played the other Assassin's Creed games, so I'm not too sure, but, uh, he goes into, oh great, I'm gonna stop, what the hell, he goes into like a, what is it called, what do they call it in the manual, a, um, oops, a simulation, is that what they call it, I'm, I'm not too sure, they mentioned it in the, wait, let me pause it, let me see if it tells me there. A memory, that's it, a memory, or, yeah, I guess a memory of um, his ancestors. So, in the first Assassin's Creed, it was, uh, let's see if I pronounce his name right, Altair. In the second one, uh, what was his name? I forgot his name. I remember Altair. Uh, I don't remember the other, e Ezio. E Ezio, yeah, that's right. And uh, I think it was Ezio and Brotherhood too, I believe. I'm not too sure, I don't remember. And then in this one you play as somebody named Connor, which is this guy right here. That's Connor. So I I believe it's it's, it's his ancestors that he uh, goes into the memories and you know does certain things in order to stop the Templars. Uh, let's see. Yeah. So yeah, if you guys I pause the game right now. So this is um, so what you're seeing on the TV screen, you see it on the gamepad as well. And yeah, you cannot choose uh, anything with the uh, touch screen, from what I could tell. Nope. Okay. But yeah, like I guess what it says right there, I'm not too familiar with the story, but it says right there, the first civilization has led Desmond Miles and his allies here in order to prevent a massive solar flare that threatens all life on this planet. So that's really interesting. It's, yeah, I really need to play the other games to understand the story. And then it says, uh, now they just need to figure out how to do it. Desmond's ancestral memories appear to hold the answers. See, so yeah, I guess he also does this to gain knowledge. I'm, I believe. I'm not too sure. Sorry, guys. I haven't really played the other Assassin's Creed games yet. Oh, okay, so um, oh, okay, so here we go. So um, yeah, this is um, this is what you normally see I've, while playing through the game. So you have a uh, the map screen. You have your life bar here, a little compass, um, how much money you have, and. Uh, the attack buttons up here and yeah, pressing them doesn't do anything of course the only thing you can pretty much that will affect the gamepad when you touch it is just the map and yeah you can move it as well like in call of duty black ops for example you can actually move the the map of any uh, 
you know, or the little map of any level that you're in. So you could zoom in. That's pretty much all you can do on the gamepad. And um, and then yeah, if if you, if you notice on the screen, you can also see the same HUD on screen, you know, with the little map there. And uh, yeah, it doesn't zoom in on the TV screen as well. But also, you can actually take the uh, HUD off, and I'm going to show you guys how to do that. So you press start, you go into options, and you go into HUD, optimize for Wii U gamepad. So when you turn it on, and then you go back out, notice that the HUD is gone now. So now you can actually um, you know, play the whole game without no interface on the TV screen. You can have it, I mean it's, it's there anyway already on the gamepad. But you can actually take it off from the TV screen and play just like that. So that's pretty cool, you know. Be able to see everything with nothing getting in your way. Uh, other than the subtitles, I guess, if you have that on. But, uh, but yeah, I always like to have subtitles on whenever I do a playthrough or something, you know. Um, just in case, you know, if anybody wants to read what they're saying, what the characters are saying, you can do that as well. I'll bring a round of one. But yeah, I mean, the game looks really great. I haven't played it on the other systems yet to compare it. But it looks really good. It's not bad. Invitation, please. Shall I take your coat, sir? Another interesting thing that I saw as well. Um, let me pause the game real quick. I'm going to go in the options is that this game actually supports 3D. And I was surprised, I didn't know um, they would have any Wii U games in 3D. So let's just go into General and 3D, or wait, Stereoscopy, wait is that it? Yeah, that's it, 3D, so they have different options. So uh, they have Inficolor, which is a special type of uh, 3D glasses. They have side by side, and they have top and bottom. So it looks like only the top and bottom and side by side work on the TV. But if you notice, if I change it to Inficolor, it actually does it both on the TV and on the gamepad. And from what I've heard uh, from reading message uh, uh, forum posts, like on GameFAQs and all that, um, the Inficolor actually does work on the Wii U gamepad as well. And you can, and they've actually people have had it where it works with 3D on the gamepad as well. So that's pretty interesting. So. I haven't tested it out yet, obviously, because I don't have any these type of glasses. So, yeah, I'm not sure if it's going to work. But, uh, but people have said that it actually does work on both the TV and the Wii U gamepad, which is interesting. So, so yeah. Oh yeah, no, now that I'm here, I might as well show you guys this. So, uh, of course, um, so far with every Wii U game, Wii U game that I've shown with gamepad footage, uh, you can play with um, on the Wii U gamepad. So I'll just switch it over to the gamepad. Now the TV screen, it says look at the Wii U gamepad. And now we're playing on the Wii U gamepad. And, and then now you can hear the sound as well coming from the gamepad. Now of course the game looks really good on the gamepad as well. So Yeah, of course if you guys want to uh, play Assassin's Creed 3 in the bathroom or in your bed, you can do that as well. So yeah, I'll switch it back over to the <clears throat> to the TV here. And yeah, that's like there's that's pretty much it. There's really not much to say about the features on the um, the Wii U gamepad. But um, yeah, let me just show you guys just a few more minutes here of the game. Oops, sorry if I'm moving too much here. I'm trying to adjust myself. Evening, Haytham. Reginald? I can't tell you how happy I was to hear they'd mounted this revival. Gay's best work by... I actually have the gamepad on my, uh... Have you seen it before? On my yes. lap. My legs are starting to fall asleep because I'm not moving as much. I remember a little of it. So... I, and I hope that guy that makes, uh... That makes the capture boards for the 3DS 
I hope he comes out with a capture court or uh, capture card for the uh, gamepad. That'd be cool. Yeah, because I, I would love to like you know do playthroughs and stuff of um, you know Wii U games that show off the gamepad and um, the the TV screen as well. So that'd be pretty cool. So I just gotta wait and see. Gotta wait and see what happens. So. You know, I think I'm, I'm, I might email him. Or if he's seeing this, uh, let me know, man. <laughs> I might email that person. Uh, his name is Loopy. Um, and uh, I don't know if he makes the capture boards, because uh, I think he just orders a bunch of capture boards and he just installs them for people on, the, on their 3DSs. And yeah, for those who have followed my channel, you know, you guys obviously know that I've made uh, uh, 3DS um, gameplay footage using the capture card. Uh, but before that, I actually used this camera that I'm recording with the gamepad uh, to record my 3DS footage. And that was a pain in the ass to record before, but now that I got the capture card for my 3DS, it's been great. It's been amazing. No more... Because uh, the way I had it was, I had the uh, my, th my camera on the tripod facing down on the floor. Then I put my 3DS on the floor, and from there, uh, I had to sit down for sometimes hours kept trying to record footage and I would have curtains um, you know like really dark curtain and dark curtains so that no sunlight could get into my room and um, yeah I was really uncomfortable when I was recording that so where I go from here oh there we go so um, yeah you know I hope I hope that he has something that somebody makes like a capture board type of deal for the uh, for the Wii U gamepad, that would be pretty cool, you know, because, yeah, like I said, I would love to capture footage for both the, on the TV screen and on the gamepad as well. All right, let's see here. And then, yeah, of course, the Wii U gamepad has rumble. I don't know if you guys could hear that. Um, but, yeah, the Wii U gamepad does have rumble built in. All right, let's see. Hopefully I don't screw this up like I did the first time. Jump. But yeah, also another thing too, um, since a lot of people have been asking me as well, I'm going to plan on doing a uh, Assassin's Creed playthrough of this um, of this version on my channel. So, um, so yeah, like I said, I'm going to be working on Zombie U next. Uh, and then after that, uh, also people have been asking me to do a playthrough of Batman Arkham City Armored Edition, so I'll be doing a playthrough of that as well uh, once I finish with Zombie U. Don't have too much time, unfortunately, to do it, otherwise, um, you know, I have a lot of playthroughs on my channel right now for Wii U games, but since you know I do have a job, don't have too much time to be recording. That's why I don't really put too many videos out every day. Hey, Phil. You should have come to me. We would have found another way. Yes. But then you would have known. For what it's worth, I'm sorry. <laughs> Stab him in the back. Then after this, you have to kill that kid. No, I'm just kidding. No, you don't. <laughs> And, um, yeah, I guess that's pretty much it, guys. Um, yeah, there's really not much to say for the uh, Assassin's Creed 3 version on the Wii U gamepad. Um, but, yeah, I mean, it's pretty cool that you can play it on the gamepad, on the actual gamepad. So, you know, like I said, you guys want to play it in the toilet or in the bathroom or in your living room if you don't have the TV there, uh, you can do that. 
So, um, yeah, that's pretty much it, guys. Uh, let me know what you guys think. Uh, hit that like button if you like this video. And, um, yeah, since, um, you know, a lot of people want me to do uh, Assassin's Creed 3 playthrough, I'll be doing that in the near future. So, you know, keep a look out on that. Or keep an eye out on that. And uh, if you guys haven't subscribed yet, go ahead and hit that subscribe button and like this video. Yeah, that would really help me out a lot. And that's it, guys. All right, take it easy.